Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How are you all doing today? Thank you very much for joining. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button, I'd really, really appreciate it. How is it going? Nobody, Mario Boss, that one Asian. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to me on YouTube. If you'd like, go check out my Facebook page. I'm on Twitter now as well. I'm occasionally streaming on Twitch. All the links are in the description down below. If you guys could check those out if you're interested, I would really appreciate the support. All right, let's jump into the video today. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Miguel Paludo's 2012 Daytona crash in the Nextera Energy Resources 2000 or 2250. Chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Alright, so for those of you that haven't seen this wreck, I'm going to show you. It took place in the exact same race as Joey Coulter's airborne wreck, which is the one last reenactment I did about 15 laps earlier. So here we go. Thanks to Edwin TV 9 for the video. Here's uh, Paluto right in here, second in line on the inside line, coming out of turn four, and you'll see. He gets loose and just absolutely drills the inside wall, coming out of turn four. Very reminiscent of Danica's accident in the duel. Man, that one hurts to look at. Let's Miguel see another replay of that. I believe he just gets loose all on his well, own. The, so he's second in line. There of PK Jr. And boom. Jesus Christ. Oh, Thank you. Thanks how, for the safer barrier. Thank God. That truck weighs 30, 30, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Tom Cruise, for the safer barrier. And we saw how quickly Miguel all right, where's another? Down, was taking his helmet off. And then watch out for the cone that he takes out with his back bumper right here. Wait for it. And boom, dead center with the Chevy logo. Watch this now. It's hard to see. You could see right there. You could see you could see PK get a little bit sideways. God, that hurts to look at. But I don't I don't know if those trucks make kind. Those PK. I think he just made I think the leader just got loose. Pause that right there. So, want to explain really quick? Uh, I got my paint, or my 2012 trucks from Elite Paint Designs. Go check them out. I'll, after this video is posted, I'll throw the description, or the link in the description. Sorry, just get my laptop set up. I counted all these cars and went through truck by truck to figure out who was all in the race at this time. I'll show you quick. I'm missing a couple because I counted about 30 or so total in that replay and I have about 28 including Paluto in this one. So here's his car I'm going to be using, his truck. And out of the thousand something trucks I have for this mod I went by number by number and thanks to racinginfo.net or .com, because I use that a lot too. And I went through and tried to find all the trucks that were still in the race at the time. So that is that. Let me switch out of here, back to there. How's it going, everyone? Thanks for joining. Uh, damn it, I forgot to do all the tags I usually do for for these live streams. I have to edit the tags after I'm done streaming. Alright, so that's the roster I'm going to be using. Here's Miguel Paluto's truck. It's all the right sponsors, I made sure. Because there's about 30-something Miguel P Paluto trucks. Gonna be using Daytona SDT night, because that's around 2012. Go Paluto roster. Everything else is set. Boom. Let's jump in. Rest in peace, commitment cone. 
Let's have a moment of silence for the commitment cone. Okay, now back to the video. Alright, so I'm gonna try to jump second in line. Not too concerned with the AI cars, trucks, whatever you want to call them, just as long as I have all the right paint schemes. I'm not necessarily too concerned about them all being in the exact right order. Just so long as Miguel Paluto's crash itself is on point for the most part. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using my little directional pad shifting right now. Because tests I was doing earlier, I was having trouble. I turned the track temperature down to try to get loose and to get up to speed faster. But I'm having trouble getting loose on my own coming out of the turn, so I turn on the directional pad shifting method I use sometimes for certain wrecks. There's Joey Coulter. Little will he, does he know he will be in the catch fence now about 15 laps. I'm just going to get in line behind Peters. As long as I'm second in line on the inside line. Then we're going to try to get loose. I'll just wiggle back and forth coming out to turn four. Where did I get my sound pack from? I believe I got it from... I'll have a link in the description afterwards. People keep asking, shoot. Get back in line. There we go. Alright, third in line. See, I wasn't getting as uh, loose as I needed to, so that time I tried doing the shifting, but then I got too loose. Twenty-six people watching. Thank you, everyone, for joining. If you guys don't mind, if you could please hit the like button. If you enjoy my videos. All right, that was worthless. Next attempt. I might have to adjust the track I and I to get a little loose coming out of the turn. Kyle Busch wreck. I don't want to do that one that took out Junior. That was the and that ruined my chance. Because I had Kyle Busch in my top five for that Daytona Day contest. So him wrecking and ruined my chances to win 50 grand. We've got a binge watcher. Binge watching reenactments. Good man. If everyone's new to my channel, you can go watch them all. I got a playlist put together. Then that way you know which ones I've done so far. That way we don't have anyone asking for ones I've already done. Saving your fingers so you don't get carpal tunnel later in life. Have to do that much less typing. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Oh, yep. That's not good. See, that's what I was talking about with trying to have the track temperature down to have the truck get loose. See, I get loose on the restarts, but coming out of the turns, my car doesn't want to seem to come around. Truck. Whatever you want to call it. I want to watch the replay of this one. Talk about a hard crash. Right and around the same spot, Joey Coulter gets hit. I think you already did this one. Might have been thinking of Joey Coulter's. Like same exact race, same year, and only 15 laps apart between the wrecks. Maybe that's what you were thinking of. Michael Waltrip, 2002. Flip. Yeah, I have the track temperature down, so it track's a little slick getting up to speed. Which I was hoping it would be slick coming out of the turns, too. I might have to turn the track temperature back up and the track grip down. So I had the track temperature down a little bit because this is the same track I was using for Joey Coulter's flip, so I needed to be able to get airborne and up to speed on command. So that's why I had the track temperature tweaked in the first place. 
and it helps the trucks get up to speed a little bit faster. Ugh, excuse me. There we go. No spinny. Timothy Peters is in the lead. I don't think he was in the lead at the time. I think it was either Sauter or someone else. All right, rest of the pack, catch up. All right, so I guess I'm just second in line. It's not really double file right now, but I'll still just be second in line. I'm gonna try to wiggle. Come on. Come on. Close, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. Wasn't as violent as it should have been. Into the inside wall. Wasn't as violent as it should have been. Save it for a thumbnail in case I need to do a part two, but I need to do it a little bit faster so I actually get so I actually get airborne when I hit the wall. So I was doing some tests earlier before I tweaked the settings to what I have now. I was having trouble when getting sideways the way I needed to, but when I did, when I hit the wall, I was getting airborne just about perfectly. Close but no air. <laughs> Is that the new phrase? Is that close but no cigar? Close but no air? Just about the exact right spot. It was right before the the wall cuts off for the emergency vehicle entrance right there, that little opening. But I didn't quite make it to the cone, so I think I need to be going just a little bit faster when I get spun up. I don't need that as a thumbnail. I'll have plenty of other wrecks. Turn up Armco Grip. See, that's an experiment I was doing. I didn't know if I needed to do Armco Grip. I tried turning Track Wall Grip and Track Safer Barrier Grip up to five. I know Track Wall Grip does not or does something. I don't know if Safer Barrier Grip does anything. That's kind of a long shot when I tweak that. And After this attempt, I'll go into the Track I and I and show you guys what I'm what I have the settings at right now. Got 40 watchers right now. Thank everyone for joining. Trying to do one of my more requested truck wrecks to do or reenactments. Uh, Miguel Paludo's 2012 Daytona crash coming out of turn four in the next Terra Energy Resources 250. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, uh, so far, if you hit the like button, I'd really, really appreciate it. As we try to get up to speed here, uh, and we do successfully without spinning out. Hey Matt Crafton, how are you doing? How come you didn't flip for me properly earlier today? This paint scheme hasn't changed in five years. Oops, come on, stay. Stay in the turn, there we go. And I got the comments coming in really fast right now. How's everyone doing? Right, still second in line, still have Joey Coulter behind me. After this, I'm going to exit out to the track INI &I file and just take a look at the settings I'm using. Damn it. I scuffed it off the wall. Alright, so I'm going to try to... Yeah, I knew about Wall and Armco. I was just trying a little experiment to see if manually putting in a safer barrier grip and tweaking that would do anything, but I don't think it's doing anything, so I'll try Armco. Alright, so here we are, bringing you guys over. Here we are in the game folder, Papyrus, NASCAR 2003 season tracks, Daytona STD night. Here we got the track INI file. Alright, so here's what I was talking about. This is what I tried tweaking. So I'm going to change this to Armco Grip. I'm not...
I'm not gonna try 19 yet. I'll try maybe 10. I'll work my way incrementally up. I'm not gonna jump all the way up to 20 right away. Here's what the track CTS grip. I think I need to turn it up just a little bit so I can have a little bit more speed and grip when I get loose and go into the inside wall. Maybe turn this down just a tad bit more to help me get loose. Maybe like that. Any other suggestions? Alright, so that's about it. <clears throat> chassis grip 5, or chassis, chassis type. And here's the CTS physics right here. I have the asphalt grip to about 1.3. Alright, let's try that. Load the game back up. The concrete grip is already at like 1.7. That was how it was when I downloaded this track. I don't think I need to turn that up anymore. Switch back to the game window mode instead of just the window capture to get rid of my little sidebar there. Alright, let's back in. Let's try it again. Let's see if we get a little better qualify in order to, because I know I think it was the number 13 and that gun broker car that were in the front. Or close to the front. 13, Johnny Sauter. He's in the front row. Cool. Yeah, having that loose traction right there is what I'm trying to go for coming off of turn four, but it seems to be only when I'm at a slow speed. There's Joey Coulter. speed without spinning out. Perfect. Yep, there, Johnny Sauter. I need to be second in line. That's close. Come back, David Starr, whatever your name is. David Triangle. Damn it. Hit the wall a little too... A little too late and not at the right angle. Quite the right angle. Let's take a look at that. Only. Need to do it a little bit sooner. Just a tad sooner in the corner. See, that's where I'm mixed. Looking at the replay, I want to have the grip turned up just a little bit help make my uh, angle into the wall a bit more violent but yet turning up the grip even if I hit the wall a little bit later than I should be I'm still slowed down and stopped before I actually get to that damn cone and if possible I want to try to hit that damn cone in the game because that's one detail I want to try to add to this reenactment Chat is off. Thank you for pointing that out to me. I think I hit the wrong thing. Alright, it should be back on. Sorry guys, when I switch out of the game window, sometimes when I switch back to it, the chat is 
I need to click back on the chat in order to get it pop back on the screen. And I messed that one up. I messed that one up. Right, let's improvise. Try improvising for this wreck. Okay, you've got to go to the end of the longest line. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500. Hello, Peck. The pace cars in turn two. You all right? We got there. Miguel Paluto's hard crash reenacted. You blew the engine. That was what happened in real life, right? Looks like we got damage on the left front. Let's take a quick replay at that. I usually don't goof off this early on, but I just felt like going backwards once. Damn, the damage is pretty good. Look at the damage on that 32. Damage is pretty good in this mod. Alright, restart. can't hear you. Can everyone else hear me? My microphone is on. Alright, I'm just making sure. It's here in the chat. Yes or no? Can you hear me? I checked OBS. I see my microphone working. Try refreshing your page if the audio isn't working. Try going on board for this one, because we have a heavily tinted windshield. I haven't used this, uh, aside from Joey Coulter's crash, I haven't used this uh, Crash and Truck 2009 mod in a while. It's been years since the last time I used this mod. Should go on board once I get up to speed. John King. Three wide into turn one. Perfect. All right, perfect. Second in line. In the inside line, have to get a little wiggle coming out of turn four, and if that doesn't work, shift down. I shifted down too early. Whoa! That was interesting. He got like caught in part of the safer barrier and kind of glitched out for a second. That was really cool. What do you mean go full speed? I am going full speed. I spun out a little too early that time. We're not dropping frames, are we? I'm actually switching something in the OBS settings real quick. Just turning the encoding settings, max bit rate, and buffer size. I'm turn changing from 3800 to 3700 just because it seems like it's taken a bit for the game to buffer and come through. Alrighty. So I saw we were dropping a couple frames on the stream. That's what I noticed about the Daytona 500, right? When the big one started real life, the screen kind of froze for a second or so. Yeah, Tony Gibson freaking out. That was awesome. Him just going mental. The crew chief for Kurt Busch. 
That was my second tweet ever. Oh yeah, go check me out. I'm on Twitter now. Never thought I'd say that, but yes, I'm on Cody H Gaming is on Twitter at the Cody H Gaming. My second tweet ever was it was a screenshot of Tony Gibson freaking out, and I said I hope to one day be as happy as Tony Gibson was as he was You're then the after Black Kurt Busch won the 500. And that was the track temperature that made me way too loose on the restart that I got into the infield. Riding on the apron half the time probably didn't help. Hello everyone just joining in. Trying to recreate Miguel Paludo's 2012 Daytona crash. In the closing laps of the Nextera Energy Resources 250, coming out of turn four, he got loose while he was towards the front of the field. Flies towards the inside wall and drills it head on. Does about a 540 in the air. Slides backwards, takes out the commitment cone, comes to a rest. He was fortunately walked away all right, okay, I believe uninjured. Maybe just a little sore. Come on, no. John King. All right, I'm taking out the field again. I just got murdered by the ghost pace car. every now and then if I get a little annoyed. Okay, how come that wasn't happening? Coming out to turn four. It's funny. I basically just did the exact right wreck. Except I was going the wrong way on the track. <laughs> I basically did the exact perfect wreck just going the wrong way. Right spot and everything. Alright, trying that again. Hopefully I don't get loose on the start this time. How hilarious would that be if I just kept that one? Just didn't acknowledge it in the video at all that I'm going the wrong way during the reenactment. Just try to edit it like a normal reenactment. Spin out on the start this time. There we go. Hot honeys. Get up there, Johnny Sauter. Stay on the outside, because I need to be second in line on the inside. There we go. There we go. Alright. Start wiggling. Get a little loose. Damn it, he stopped a little bit short of where he should have, but holy crap, what an airborne wreck. You alright? Yeah, he was supposed to go a little farther and hit that damn cone, but... That was almost a little too violent. I don't know if I can keep that. I'm still gonna save it, but that was almost a little too violent. Actually, let's... Once I save it, let's take a look at the slow motion.
We'll take a look at the replay slow motion once I save it, but I want to see this again. Yeah, the only thing... He almost went a little too high in the air. And yeah, he stopped well short of that commitment cone, which that... Uh, that little detail annoys me a little bit, but... If the wreck itself is good enough, I'm not gonna get rid of a attempt just because one little minor detail is off. Alright, I take that back. That looked a lot cl closer than I thought it did. Alright, now it's saved. Now I can not worry about the game crashing. He almost did like two full spins in the air. That's what I'm saying. He almost was in the air a little too much. Yeah, he was in the air full two spins. Do I have a typo in the description? Thanks for pointing that out. I'll fix it. Ryan Reen. It's my first live stream. Awesome. You guys are came on a good one. I just got a really decent attempt. Alright, so now that I save that, I'm just not going to end the stream. i got a good 30 minutes left. Let's see if I can get closer. Restart. Save that attempt. Oh, give a like for that attempt if you guys haven't liked the video already. That was definitely the best one yet. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Let's see if we're up to 43-ish watchers. Ryan Reen. Yeah, he was almost in the air just a tad too long. That was my only complaint, aside from not getting up to where the commitment cone was. But if I get another attempt like that and he still doesn't hit the commitment cone, I'm not going to discredit the attempt just because just because I didn't get to the commitment cone. If I can, if I somehow uh, end up backwards while I still have some momentum, I'll try to go backwards until I hit the cone like he did in real life. Start a little bit. I just need to get in front of John King and I'm good. Actually, it's not going to be an issue. Move over, Johnny. It's my turn. This is my place. God damn it. Miguel Paluto just flipped over this time instead of hit the wall. Aside from being on his roof for a little bit too long, that was a little bit like Rick Crawford's flip in 2004. And he spun around on his roof a little bit too long, but that was kind of like Rick Crawford's flip. Alright, we'll try that again. So we have about 25 minutes left in the stream. Man, I feel good about that one. I opened the beer. I haven't even sipped it yet. I'm going to sip it. Celebratory sip after that attempt. That's one thing right there, that blowover. Makes me hesitant about trying that Mike Skinner 2009 Charlotte crash. Because with this uh, game... Even with like a truck mod, although it looks like it, the cars have a real, real hard time staying on their sides. So if I do that Mike Skinner crash, I might just... Eh, I don't know how I'd do that one. 
It's more than more likely than not if I ever tried that one, he'd probably just go onto his roof every time. Start I screwed up that restart again. So try it anyway and see if we can get up in line. See if we can get in line in front of a few of these people. There we go. Alright, we'll glitch you with the three wide, but still try this one anyway. And a little wiggle. The yellow flag is out. Pit road is Another close-ish one. I think I can do a little bit better. I actually think I'm. Yeah, I want to, now that I have the method of how to spin out down, I crank the wheel and midway through the spin, when I'm midway through the field, I shift down to second and that kind of turns me sideways at the perfect angle. So I want to do it again, but not have all the AI cars be screwed up because we're three wide here. These cars are up on the wall and just looks a little bad. So I'm going to try that again. So now that I, now that I know how to spin on command like that, it, I think I'm comfortable being able to do that again. I just need to have the AI have a nice little neat double file drafting lines. Because, yeah, that was like a weird three wide position. Those two cars up in the high line were scraping the wall. See, so yeah, I'll just do that again. Midway through the spin, midway when I'm halfway when I'm through the infield, I need to shift into second. That's the method I have down right now. A little slow on that restart, but I can still get in front of the number seven, I think. in front of the number seven, but not have it be four wide, or three wide, I mean. All right, seven, get down there. God damn it. Bump draft going wrong. Bump drafting going wrong. Why are we dropping a couple frames every now and then? Alright, so I need... So unless I get a better one, I'm editing that first one. Because the AI layout, not necessarily cards being in the right order, but just how the drafting lines looked was just about perfect. And the wreck, even though he went a little bit in the air, I'd rather him have him go a little too high in the air than too low. You know what I mean? So unless I get a better one, I'm editing that one. But I want, I want the wreck to look like that second one did, but have the AI be in the right positioning. That's not a good start either. There we go. Perfect. 
perfect. Oh. Nope. I didn't have to... I did not have to do anything with the gears. The truck just came around naturally that time. Yeah, my back end came around too quickly that time. Next. This is the same race Joey went up in the air, yeah. Why are we having drop frame issues? I'm looking at the replay right now, it's cutting out every... for a split second every few moments. God damn it. Next. Breaker Winter, NASCAR Valvoline, Husky Tech, Chatty Matty, Eric, Stream Cheese. Sorry if I miss anyone. stream cutting out every few moments. Alright, I'm gonna look up how to fix that afterwards, how to avoid drop frames on YouTube for live streaming, even if the frames being dropped isn't showing up on OBS. Huh. There's that little thing down below in OBS that says if you're dropping any frames. So like usual, at the end of this stream, I will go through and save all the, or show you all the save replays I got throughout of all the attempts. So far I have one. Pretty damn good one. Went a little too high up in the air, but otherwise everything else looked damn perfect. Sardo has stayed in the outside line, but I guess this works too. What? That backfired? Well, I'm third in line. Close enough. Try it again this time. Nope. Nope. I think the grip for the safer berry is up, because, yeah, it wants to climb the wall like that. left still plenty of times for plenty of time for attempts so 
plenty of time for attempts. Whoa. Having major texture issues at the track right now, if you guys just... Alright, I'm going to try quitting. Yep, NASCAR Racing 2003 season has stopped working. Alright, I'm trying to load it back up again. Actually, let's take a look at that first replay I got. There you go, Pluto Crash at 1. For any new one that might be watching the stream that hasn't seen this one yet. Here's the attempt I got earlier. So if we don't have any texture issues with this version of Daytona this time. Alright, so yeah, nice two. Nice double file lines. And then... Comes off the turn, out of control, boom. So that's the one, good one I saved earlier. That will I, I will be editing if I can't get a better one in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, hopefully no texture issues this time. Drivers, start Except the number 13 engine. isn't in front anymore, oh well. Like, yeah, I was thinking about that as you were explaining that story of Joey Coulter. I'd have to make sure I had his right ARCA car. You said a weight shift? It seems like weight shift rollovers in ARCA was really damn popular around that time, the late 2000s, early 2010s. That Jill Johnson or whatever her name was in that number 48 car. Chad Hockenbrot, which had, had the really similar crash. Or whoever that guy's name was. I can't remember exactly. There are a lot of weight shift rollovers in early 2010s in ARCA. Let's see if I can tuck in. Behind the watermelon car. Watermelon.org. I wish, I wish that was my sponsor. I wish I was sponsored by watermelons. exactly double file right now, but I'm still going to try. Once again, he almost went too high up in the air that time. Guys, no spamming. You all right? Try not to keep the emojis to five symbols of post. Yeah, that one was like too violent. That was similar to the first one, but it I think that was the wall grip that kind of affected that one. That was basically identical to the first one, so I'm not going to save that one. Actually, yeah, I have to cuz you have to keep the attempts good. Although I don't like her, how we're all single file. Paludo fresh. Next. I still like the first one a little bit better. Start your engines. Is the chat frozen? Oh yeah. Probably cause when I exit out of the when the 
Yep, when the game froze before when I started the game back up, I needed to go back into the the chat window. Sorry guys, chat's unfreezing. Or it should be by now. Frozen yet? Hello, everyone. Just joining in. Trying to do Miguel Paludo's 2012 Hard Daytona Crash in the Camping World Truck Series. If you guys haven't liked the video yet, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Got a couple close attempts so far, so hopefully I made the video worth watching. Screw up the restart for the most part that time. Alright, there we go. Too wide. Perfect. like the AI layout in this one better already. Nope. Hey, at least I got the cone in that one. Yep, that one wasn't good. Do you know what the hit into the wall kind of reminded me of? Right... There? That reminded me of uh, Casey Mears. I believe Talladega, like in the late 2000s when he had that number 25. In the Nextel Cup series, that reminded me of his crash when he was coming to pits and got turned by someone. Alright, so I'm not going to save that one because the hit into the wall wasn't good. I, I got the commitment cone, but the hit into the wall wasn't good. Super Mario, the fail. Husky Tech, Stream Cheese. Alright, got you guys. Thanks for joining in. If you guys haven't yet, please hit the like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm pretty damn close. I still like that first attempt the best. So if I don't get a better one in the next five, six, seven minutes, I'm going to edit that one over the next day or so. I think the biggest thing, since it was one of those weird shaped tickers up top that has all the weird curves and stuff, I think the biggest time, or the most time I'm gonna spend editing this reenactment is gonna be trimming that ticker out properly. Unless anyone has a better way of doing it, I just take the video and then kinda crop it out using various cookie cutter methods in my editing program. This one, AI is in a pretty good layout. Nice little double file lines we got going on. All right, coming out of turn four, he starts to get loose. All right, that was the best one I think yet. In terms of it looking perfect, the airborne part. Save this one. Let's get towards the end. That was a good one. The start of the spin looks a little weird, but... I 
I am racing AI. I was hoping I'd get to the commitment cone, but I didn't quite make it that time. Actually, that's right. I want to right? just let this replay go for a little bit before I... There we you go. Can't clear a black flag go as long me. as possible before my car spawns to the pits. Take another look at that one. Alright, I think that one... The start of the spin just looks a little off, but the crash itself, I think, beats out the first attempt. The start of the spin on my part just looks a little intentional, but that's going to happen sometimes with these reenactments. But the crash into the wall itself, I think, was a lot better. At least a little bit better than the first attempt. Alright, so this next one's going to be my second to last attempt. Then I'll show you guys the Drivers, replays and get your opinion. Start your engines! Ange, 24, Chicago's, Fire Kid, James, Colin, Lucas, Fail, Ronnie. How's it going, everyone? If you guys haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. For that attempt alone, one is almost spot on. Got 50 people watching, awesome. Right, hopefully one day hit 100. 100 live watchers. We're back up to the numbers I was used to before my YouTube live streaming suspension started. Around 40, 50 live viewers a stream per stream. That's usually what the average was. Trying to let John King catch up to the side of me, but now with the number eight, I get a little too far out in front. Let's try this one anyway. Second to last attempt. Start wiggling. Oh, nope, I did it a little too early that time. At least I got the cone. That's the important part. So I was watching something that, uh, some uh, segment on restrictor plates and crashes back in the late 80s, early 90s. I remember thinking how odd Matt Kenza's flip kind of looked like. You know how everyone talks about weight shift rollovers? How the car just kind of turns its weight over and gets over to the side? If you think about it, a lot of times those, uh, those weight shifts happen when the car is turning hard back to the right. And something I never thought of, but they mentioned in a video I saw. I actually posted it to my Facebook channel, I think. Um, something you never think about. The car is basically sealed. All the windows and everything, the bodywork, everything. The car is sealed, except for the window net. So do you guys think that has anything to do with some of those weight shifts? that the car is normally kind of blowing past or the air is kind of blowing past the car but the second it turns to the right and the air kind of starts flowing in through that window that kind of does something with the aerodynamics because a lot of those weight shift rollovers you always see is when the car turns to the right really hard so it's the left side is facing forward so yeah if you think about it if all that air rushing through the window net going into the car at 200 miles an hour that might do something with the aerodynamics I thought that was interesting, the video I saw. I'm trying to get in front of the 08 car right here. There we go. So that 
flips or some kind of something I thought of because I remember thinking how weird Matt Kenseth's flip looks but thinking about it if yeah a bunch of air starts rushing through that window and that end of the car at 200 miles an hour that might do something with the aerodynamics the yellow flag is out all right I'll take a quick look at that one Do you guys think that one was worth saving, or was that not as good as the first three? I still like the third one the best. I'm not going to save that one. All right, so I'm going to exit out. Look at the three attempts and get your guys' opinion. I think number three, personally. All right, so here's number one. Attempt number one. I want your guys' opinions. I, I like three the best, honestly. All right, so here's number one. That one looks a little too glitchy, in my opinion, when it hits the wall. Sorry, guys, I didn't save that last one. I just thought it looked really similar to a bunch of previous ones. Sorry, I didn't save that fourth attempt. I just figured the third one was good enough. I'm probably just going to use that one. And the start of that I didn't like. Yeah, he kind of is a little bit too glancing by the time he actually hits the wall in that last one. Right, so here's the second attempt. I don't know why the stream keeps streams, uh, stream keeps cutting out. Wait, well, this is when it was single file, so I don't like this one as much because the AI. Yeah, definitely not that one. Definitely think a number three. Number three for sure. Because the AI looks good. It's nice little double file lines for the most part. The start of the flip or the start of the spin maybe looks a tad bit intentional, but that's going to happen sometimes with these reenactments. And I think the spin and the hit into the wall and the flight through the air is perfect in this one. Number three was too high, well, it was lower than the first two, so. Number three was not too high. That one was, like, perfect. Yeah, this one was not too high. Look at this. That was way lower than the other ones. This one looked way more realistic. Yeah, so I'm going number three. Let me know what you guys think in the chat and in the comments. Thank you so much for watching I Were One. I really enjoyed this stream. I hope you guys did too. Hope I made it worthwhile. Please hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Go check out my Facebook page. Check out my Twitter. I'm tweeting now. And I'll occasionally be doing some special streams on Twitch. So you can go follow me on there if you're interested. Uh, so, th yeah, thanks for so much. Ah, I can't talk. Thanks so much for all the support, you guys. I uh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And until tomorrow, I will see you then. Uh, I'm always taking suggestions for new uh, races, new reenactments, so go ahead and leave them down in the comments. I see them in the comments a lot easier than I see it in the chat. So if you're watching this afterwards, let me know your suggestions. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you later. Have a good rest of your night. Peace.